hey guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we're gonna build this project and quickly walk through the components that is required for this project and later on i'll explain each and every uh, thing that you need to follow to make this project successful and also i'll explain a little bit about ultrasonic sensor and where it is widely used so these are the components uh, used in this project so basically you need a ultrasonic sensor module and arduino you know 9 volt power supply battery usb cable to dump the code and also some jumper wires leds and resistors are optional so if you know how to connect an led to arduino board uh, which i'll show you later on but in case if you don't know that's an optional you, you don't need to be worried about that so the first five things are very important now we'll talk about this ultrasonic sensor module. So you might have heard about it uh, quite a lot of times. So this sensor is basically used in fingerprint sensor in Samsung Galaxy flagship devices. The functionality is same, the principle is same, but the application is different. There it is used as a fingerprint reader and here we are using it as a obstacle detection. So the principle is same, but the application is different. So the principle is basically sending a sound waves, uh, which is having a frequency of ultrasonic. And if the obstacle is detected, if the obstacle is obstructed by the sound waves, then it is again reflected back towards the sensor. This is the principle of ultrasonic sensor. The same exact principle is applied in the fingerprint reader as well, but the application is different, right? So I hope you got a little bit idea about this ultrasonic sensor. So as you can see, this module is having four pins, VCC, trigger pin, echo pin and ground. The trigger pin and echo pin are actually digital pins. So later on, I'll show you the connection. But uh, VCC, we need to give 5 volt power supply using the Arduino board. And we need to connect the ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino board. So VCC, we generally we give a 5 volt to operate this module. So this is the pin diagram of this project. So you can see 5 volt power supply is connected to the VCC of the ultrasonic sensor and the ground pin is also connected to the ground of the Arduino board. And also the trigger pin and echo pin are connected to the uh, pin number 9 and 10 which are digital pins. Pin number 9 is connected to the trigger pin and pin number 10 is connected to the echo pin. So this is how you can connect it and also i'll put the link in the description box below where i took a reference for this project so you can uh, refer that link as well there it is explained very clearly the connection so you can check that out as well apart from that connection i added a little bit functionality to this project i added uh, three leds in case if the distance is based on the distance that we get the led will blink to indicate the distances so if you know how to connect an LED to the Arduino board, you can proceed. Otherwise, uh, no worries, you can make a simple project. So an LED has a cathode and anode. So all you need to do is you need to connect the cathode to the ground and anode to the resistor. So the resistor is in series with this LED. Basically, it is a series connection. And uh, from the digital pin, it is the resistor is connected and from the resistor, anode of the led is connected and cathode is connected to the ground no worries if you understand it no you can proceed otherwise uh, incorrect connection may lead to damage of led so be careful by connection so if you know how to connect an led you can proceed otherwise uh, you can make it a simple project so after proper connection uh, you need to dump the code to this arduino you need to program it so i'll explain you the code now so this is the code actually and these are called as macros uh, we can say or we can say these are global variables we are defining the pins so based on the connections i did uh, i connected pin number 9 to the trigger pin and pin number 10 to the echo pin that's why i have written like this and these are actually uh, uh, optional you can if you know the connections how to connect an led you can write otherwise not a big deal but entire code is available in the description box below and also the website link where i took preference uh, where i took reference before uh, doing this project so there i explained clearly not a big deal okay so you can get the code easily so here actually you need to define trigger pins on the constant variables and all that and after that here we took uh, duration with the long as a data type and int with the distance and this one is very important you need to set up the code actually 
so trigger pin is always output and echo pin is always input so if you don't know why we are writing like this you can actually read that you can go through that website basically you'll get some clarity about why what is echo pin what is a trigger pin so after that uh, this is optional if you know how to connect you can write this uh, here we are doing serial monitoring uh, we are beginning the serial communication so we can uh, use this button over here to check the distance I'll later on i'll show you the values basically and after that we need to create a loop where uh, it is clearly mentioned first of all uh, digital write trigger pin high we need to set this trigger pin high and basically we, what we are doing actually is we are uh, calculating the delay actually so here you can see there is a formula duration equal to pulse in echo pin so what what this will do is basically if the obstacle is obstructed this uh, function this pulse in function will actually uh, check whether the obstacle is obstructed or not so echo pin i told you it is an input so whenever the input is high for the echo pin the obstacle it, it detects something is obstructed so the de the delay it will calculate and basically this duration is doubled because the sound wave will travel and when the obstacle is detected it is again travel back to the sensor so it, the duration value is doubled and that's why we are actually dividing dividing it by half so if you go through that uh, website link uh, you can if you read the documentation it's provided well enough so you can understand uh, from there and this one is actually uh, i told you i added a little bit functionality to this project so if the distance is less than 10 the red led which i took as a led one it will glow and rest to led will uh, remain in off state and similarly if the distance is greater than 10 if the distance is less than 30 led 1 and 3 will be in off state and led 2 which is orange one will be in high state and else uh, led 1 and 2 will be in off state and led 3 will be in uh, on state and after that we are just printing this uh, distance value in serial monitor now i'll show you the distance uh, distance values in serial monitor so you'll get some clarity so you can get this code in the description box but the important thing is you have to understand how i written this code i told you why actually these are actually built-in functions so you can use it for calculating a uh, distance so for i'm sorry for delay you are using this pulse so uh, you can uh, go through that website uh, link that is provided in the description box below so you can understand and get the code from there otherwise if you know how to connect an led uh, i'll provide this code also so you can go with this as well so this is about the code I'll, i will show you now the serial monitor so after copying the code in this arduino uh, software so you need to create a new file over here and uh, you just need to copy the code and save it with the project file name otherwise if you, for those of you guys who don't know this software you can download this setup file from the official website i'll put the link in the description box below where you can download this uh, software as well that's not a big issue after that you just need to create a new file and you, you just need to copy this code so after that for, first thing is after copying the code first thing is you need to verify it so what will happen after clicking on this verify button is it will check for whether the code contains any syntax error or not so it is not showing any error that means the code doesn't have any syntax error so after that i just need to upload this so after uploading uh, go over to go over here there is a button for serial monitor click on this now you can see the distance value is printing uh, but the thing is but the problem is uh, the it's printing so fast right how to troubleshoot this issue is it's very simple you just need to add a single line code delay of 1000 semicolon so what this uh, line of code will do is 1000 millisecond is basically one second so after one second the distance value will be printed so now if i hit uh, upload button after done uploading just need to click on this serial monitor over here so now, now you can see after every one second the distance value uh, is printed so this is how you can uh, print the values 
After dumping the code to this microcontroller Arduino, you just need to give a power supply using this 9 volt battery and after that uh, have a look at this demo. So if the distance is less than 10, the red LED will glow and the rest 2 will be in offset and if the distance is more than 30, green will glow. So the project is successful and in case if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video and if you do end up liking this video, hit that like button and possibly subscribing to this channel is much appreciated and also share it with your friends and let's catch up in the next video.